here, boot camp instructor and certified fitness nutrition coach based out of Sacramento, California. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Forest Vance Training Fat Loss Eating Basics. Now, fat loss eating is one of those things that gets very overcomplicated. There's so many different viewpoints and conflicting information out there. You know, one day you hear you need to do intermittent fasting, the next day it is vegan. Um, and so, you know, it's hard to know what to do, what's the best approach to take to help you reach your fat loss goals. So at the end of the day, all these different approaches work. Um, and there are some core principles that any long-term healthy eating fat loss based plan is going to follow. And that's what I want to cover with you today. Um, so these are principles that I personally used to lose 64 pounds in a seven month period. And that was almost 10 years ago. Um, right after my pro football career ended. Um, and, uh, and now still today, I've kept the weight off, managed to stay fit this whole time, been in the fitness industry pretty much that whole time. Um, and over that time, I've also helped thousands of people, both in person and online, use these same principles to lose fat. So I'm just gonna share them with you today, and break it down, make it super simple for you. So number one, what we do to start off with to get a baseline uh, amount of food that you should be eating for fat loss. Uh, you take your weight, times that by 10 to 12. That's how many calories you should be eating per day if you're trying to lose fat. So what you wanna do is you know, uh, start on the higher side of that, uh, where you can get to where you're losing one to two pounds a week, and then bump that cal those calories down as your weight loss starts to slow down a little bit like it in inevitably will. Um, if, you're, if you know that you're leaner, you're more active, you probably want to start like on the higher side of that. Um, and if you are, you know, if you know your body fat's a little bit higher, if you know you're more sedentary, you want to start on the lower side. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you're probably going to be somewhere in the vicinity of about 1,500 to 1,800 calories a day to start. Um, and so the key is that you want to log your food on an ongoing basis. Use something like MyFitnessPal, my log your food, Get an average of how many calories you're taking in every day. Weigh yourself once a week, and then you can kind of check and balance. And as you go, if you're losing weight, great. Keep doing the same thing. If you're not, bump your calorie down intake down a little bit. Um, you know, even if you're losing really, really, really fast, you might even bump it up just a little bit. So that's how you get your baseline calorie intake for the amount of food that you need to eat. So second thing that we do is we divide that up into four to five small meals throughout the day. So there's different approaches that you can use to this. Um, you know, a, a lot of recent approaches, uh, like intermittent fasting, you know, you might not be eating for a certain period of the day or, or different variations of that. Um, what we're gonna do though, this is the approach that we take. Um, you could call it old school or whatever you want, but people are still getting great results with it. They have for years and years. For me personally, and a lot of, all of my clients that I work with, dividing your, your food into four to five smaller meals through the day, um, the big thing is it helps you from getting hungry if you're in that calorie deficit, and it also, um, it, you know, it helps you keep your energy levels a lot more even. Um, and that way you're not having like, you know, a big meal at one point and then other smaller meals that feel weighed down after that big meal, um, if you, if, especially if you evenly spread out that calorie intake throughout the day. So that's how we do it. That's how we spread out the meals. Um, couple other basic points. Those are the basics. If you can follow even just the 10 to 12 calories a day part, there, there's no one that's walking around that is overweight, if they're otherwise healthy, barring any other conditions, that's eating that amount of food and that amount of calories. So that's what it boils down to is just eating less and then of course also exercising more, which is a whole topic of a whole other video. We're not going to cover it here. But, you know, if, when it comes to weight loss and fat loss, a diet is actually the majority of the equation. So, um, but a couple of other things to focus on, especially if we're in a calorie reduced state, we want to have less nutrients and more, um, I'm sorry, less calories, more nutrients. So the problem is probably what right now what you're doing is you're going more calories, less nutrients. So in other words, as a couple examples, cake has lots of calories, not very many nutrients. Soda, full sugar soda. Lots of calories, almost zero nutrients. Um, on the flip side, kale, lots of nutrients, not very many calories. An apple would be another example of the same exact thing. So, especially when you're in a reduced calorie state, but really all the time, everything that you should that you're going to eat 
needs to have a purpose and it needs to have nutrients and you need to really have a reason why you're eating. So that very basic thing is really going to help you a lot. Every time you make an eating choice, think, what is this actual food doing for me? Um, and then the last thing, if you want to think of how we're going to structure our meals, every time that you eat, you want to have some kind of lean protein. So this could be like chicken, it could be fish, it could be protein powder, uh, it could be eggs, cottage cheese if you can tolerate dairy. Um, and, a, and a vegetable should really ideally be like the core of every one of your meals. Um, you also want to have a little bit of good fat. Uh, so that could be, you know, almonds, olive oil, avocado, something like that, a very small portion. Some fruits are fine, don't want to go super overboard, but, you know, that's, there's much bigger issues probably why you're not, unless you're already very low and you're trying to get super lean, which this approach is not really exactly designed for that. Um, you know, there's a lot of other reasons probably why that's the case rather than eating too much fruit. So having some fruits, totally fine. And then we really want to really, really cut out ideally or very minimize the processed carbs and the sugar completely from our diet. So th there's your basic other nutrition guidelines. So that is the FVT fat loss meal planning guide in a nutshell. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you start. The biggest thing is take this information and do something with it. Start logging your food. Follow these, follow these guidelines. Start doing it and you're going to be moving towards your ultimate fitness goal before you know it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you want more videos like this, more articles on healthy eating, workouts, and a lot more, make sure you head over to my main website at forestvance.com. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.